because they felt like, oh, uh, she shot somebody and they never liked me anyway, you know, and they felt like, oh, well, we thought she killed him and, and I, you know, and, and, you know, coming to his aid, coming to his rescue instead of coming to me, um, their family member, and they never did come to me in life to help me with anything. If anything, they psychologically abused me and some of them physically abused me and they will try to talk about me like a dog to cover up why they did not come to my aid or they'll say stuff that they did they did the best they could but they did not and so um they had family members trying to find reasons to not let me stay with them or not to help me and it's like because they knew that I was pregnant and that the white people was lying about it and people was trying to act like they did not know they was trying to act like oh we can't tell she pregnant but it was obvious and you could feel the baby you know so I already knew how my family is anyway like they ain't never took up for me they ain't never stood up for me um, anytime they ever did anything for me in my life, it was like a burden to them, you know, no matter how much abundance they had. And I always had to find a way to be all right on my own, no matter what I had to go through. And all they did was just talk about me and, you know, find any little thing they could to pick on me. So when I was, I've helped them, but when I was down and I needed somewhere to stay, you know, it's like everybody was surprised when... I got pregnant and had this beautiful little boy and I wasn't on the streets like people wanted me to be. I had my own place. I was there for three years raising Melbourne on my own and Joseph Overa was paying my rent uh, at the time because I had a small child and I was pregnant, you know. Um, there was times that I worked, but you know, this is what God was saying. I was, I had a small child and I was pregnant and Joseph could afford to help us. So he did. And that's just what it was. And it's not that I won't work and everything, but that's not the point, you know? Um, and that, that shouldn't even have been a factor with any of my family to want to make it about when I got out, like, oh, she needs to get a job and no, because I had been tortured for 10 months and I was pregnant and they were lying and they know how this country is and they knew what was going on so ain't no you gonna make it about she needs to get a job and they know you gonna make it about oh she needs to pay nobody no money she ain't pulling her weight no you're not gonna find a way to point the finger at me because I have been abused and God was saying I've been abused since I was a little girl by the man that my mother was married to nobody ever acknowledged that and then I've been abused by my child father, um, and nobody is acknowledging that. And he was abusing my son, and people have possibly been abusing my son, and they're not going to acknowledge that. So um, people were set in place to uh, defame me and have me out on the streets and uh, leave me to where I didn't have a way to get food, and I didn't have any documents because... When they arrested me, um, all I had was my ID, but um, they, uh, my social security card and my birth certificate had been in my apartment, and Cynthia Overa said she went in my apartment and took all my things out of my home, um, so I didn't have any legal documents to be able to work when I got out, and I was looking for jobs, and places would not hire me. And I believe this was on purpose. I had got the documents and was looking for a job. Took me a minute to get the documents. I had to pay for the documents. And when I got them and I was, uh, my family members had put me out of the house. Um, and they'll find any reason to tell you why they did that. But they knew and they was not going to help me. Um, they knew I was pregnant and uh, they was involved with trying to cover up the fact that um about my pregnancy and cover up everything so having me out on the street when I asked why would you put me out on the street right before my custody um, uh, trial to get my son because I won the hearing against Austin Metter um, but when Austin Metter was uh, locked up from Cynthia's house because when I went to jail 
he went to go live with his mother after I asked him to go and live with his mother while he was in my house and he wouldn't go. So now that I was gone and she had taken everything out of my house, they needed to go. Um, he needed, uh, they needed to, uh, go get all my stuff out of my apartment and move him into their home. And they allowed him to move in with another woman. And he had my son there because Cynthia Vera came and picked up my son from the Baytown Seafood on the day of the shooting. Um, the police called her to come and get my son. And, um, Austin went to the hospital. And so I guess after a, a period of time, he was living with his mother and my son was there and he was attacking a, a woman in the home there. And Cynthia Vera had to run into the restroom with my son while I was incarcerated, being tortured and poisoned, fighting these charges and pregnant. Um, and, uh, he had been charged from her house. After she called 911 in the restroom while he was attacking this other woman and he was arrested after judge right after judge. He was actually right after judge Tracy Gilbert had ordered to give him temporary custody of my son and um, judge Tracy Gilbert signed the order for Austin John Meta to have custody temporary custody of my son before a hearing in December so they I mean a trial so they said a trial a custody trial but then they dropped the charges um that were against me so um Austin Metter uh was in jail uh for attacking a woman on the day that Judge Tracy Gilbert signed the actual order so he gave the order on one court date and said they were going to draw up the papers so when by the time that they drew up the paperwork probably about a week later Austin Metter had been arrested and they tried to uh, get me to sign the order at the jail. A white man came up there and was trying to get me to sign the order and I said no. I said I'm not going to sign the order because I don't agree with giving my son temporarily, not even temporarily to Austin John Metter. And so uh, they brought me back into Judge Tracy's courtroom by myself. And he was like, why didn't you sign the order? And I said, because Austin John, I said, I don't agree with the order, Your Honor. Uh, Austin John Metter is a danger to my son. And he got he ain't upset. He was like, well, I'm signing the order. And he signed it. And then he gave Austin John Metter temporary custody of Melbourne Metter while I was still incarcerated. Um, after he knew, uh, what was taking the, what was going on, um, that there was a witness. God said that I already told the judge that there was a witness while Austin John Matter was being violent with Halo Matter. So with Melbourne Halo Matter. So he was saying that judge Tracy Gilbert already knew there was a witness. So, um, then he had signed the order to temporarily give Austin John Matter custody of uh melbourne halo matter while i was in the jail uh fighting these charges um and there there was a witness that he was being violent with me and the baby and that's why i was in jail um so the day that he told me well i'm signing it austin was not in the courtroom he wasn't present and he signed the order but austin was already in the jail so he had been arrested during the time period where they were drawing up, where his lawyers were drawing up the paperwork to have me sign this order. And when I wouldn't, they brought me back into the courtroom, but Austin was already in jail. And then uh, Cynthia Vera had to file a, a, a separate, a new temporary, uh, uh, temporary um, petition. She filed a temporary she filed to get temporary custody of Melbourne. Um, and she said that Austin and I were both incarcerated and she tried, she said on the paperwork that, uh, she felt that, um, no, n neither one of us needed to have custody of Melbourne because she felt like, uh, it would be bad for his mental health and that trying to make it seem like I had assaulted a family member with a deadly weapon. So she was still covering up the fact that, uh, Austin Matter was a 